Hi, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the blog app using Django and React.js. In this one, we'll get started working with the post list API view and also the post detail API view. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So let's get started. Begin by opening up your code editor and scroll all the way to the bottom in the views PY. And over here, you want to create a new class and this one will be the post list API view. And this should inherit from generics.list API view. And the serializer class that it should interact with should be the API serializer.post serializer. And permission classes for now should still be allow any. Then let's go ahead and override the default get query sets, same as this. And then down here, let's get a slug from the URL. So self dot keyword argument, the URL will be expecting to have a slug parameter in it. Then we need to go ahead and fetch a particular post or not that actually, I think I'm going off track now. Since this is a get query set, we don't need to actually do this. Okay, I'm writing the post list API view before the detail. So what we can do in this instance is just return API models dot posts dot objects dot all for now for all. If you want, you could just go ahead and you know um, filter this by active should be equal to life. Let me make sure that that's correct. So active, there you go, there you go, there you go. That should be status. It's the field, then active. Okay, this is how it should be. All right, so after you've done this, now let's create another one for the post detail. So post detail API view. And this should be generics.list API view. But this one now should be retrieve, okay? Retrieve API view, because we want to get one single item. Now this and this still the same. But instead, what you want to do is override the default get objects. So define get objects and it takes in self as a parameter. Now all we need to do is say slug should be equal to self dot keyword argument slug. So now it's expecting a slug. This was what I initially wanted to write firstly before this one. Now the URL will be expecting a slug just like we did over here when it was expecting a category. So now with a slug, let's fetch post based on that slug. So posts, which is one single post, should be API models dot posts dot object dot get. Where yes, slug is equal to the slug that we have fetched from the URL, and also the status of the post should be active in a string. Okay. All right. So with that, that's pretty much it. Whenever we view a post, let's add one count to the to the post views. So I'm gonna say post dot view should be plus equals one then let's save post dot save then let's finally return post so you see this is quite simple what we pretty much this was define fetch post based on the slug that gets passed into the url just like what we did over here passing in the slug finance so we fetch the post then we add one to the view field of the post whenever a post gets viewed by a user this is just like a count to keep track of how many people have seen a post. Then we save the posts, okay? To so actually add the one and save it in the database. Then we return the post. So in the URL, let's try saving this. Over here, I will create a new part. And this should be post slash detail. Okay, let's put for the list firstly. So post slash list. Then what we need is the API views dot posts list API view dot as view. You can go ahead and duplicate this if you want because it should be almost the same as the detail. Please fix the, the comma issue. This should be post detail API view. And over here, let's rename this one to detail slash. Then remember it's expecting a slug in the parameter or there will be an issue. So after you've done this, then, then if we come back here, you can now see that we have more. See that? 
we have this this and this so if we come over to post lists you can see there you go we have one post right if you want to visit the post detail you can come over to post slash detail slash one nothing is going to happen because it's not one that we are using we are using a slug so what is the slug of this post here some title so we take the slug and replace it with one now we fetch the post simple as that so guys that is pretty much it you can see how easy it is to work with apis fetching creating um retrieving one or query sets very simple very easy i believe from the next video we'll get started working with the uh, like posts post comments bookmark posts that you guys will see more advanced ways that we can use to work with rest framework and things related to it hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned something new i know it's quite short and straight to the point if you want to see more tutorials like this then check out some of the courses in the description below one of them should help you become a better python django and react js developer if you're also looking to build websites faster easier and professionally with modern components then i highly recommend you check out nestblog.app they've got a lot of templates for you for bootstrap tailwind material ui pure css boomer a lot of it so use the link in the description nestblog.app check it out and start building easily and start building professionally I hope to see you in the next video and until then, my love, peace out.